it's me again listen quick video um i'm gonna show y'all how to rig up some stuff okay now this ain't gonna be no explosion no no chemical alterations or nothing like that it's simply just how to rig up something and how to um cook something when you don't have all the tools that you need to get something done so i did the video a couple days where i had the um the giant um red king crabs well you know i i steamed them myself at home and you know anybody can but i don't have a big pot so let me show y'all what i did i'm about to cook some more so i'm going to show you uh, me cooking more or, or whatnot but you know i just want you guys to see so you see this good pot right here that's all i got this this is my hand this is how big the pot is it's not that big then i have another pot like this <laughs> it's slightly smaller than the this pot um in this pot i have put as you see i have crushed red pepper in there and i put some creole seasoning in there now i'm not gonna let y'all see too much of my body because i'm in some flannel pjs it's a little cool in florida okay so i have take y'all over here so y'all can see i have my crab thrown in the sink i just took it out the freezer and just set it there i do nothing extra okay so here are all the crabs they're in this big old bag and it's the big uh you know the big old claw and all that so i'm gonna just rinse these off I just want to get the ice off of them. I'm not using hot water. I'm trying to use like warm water. Because if you use hot water, you'll start to cook the crab and you don't want to do that. Because it's already cooked really. So I'm just rinsing off the ice. That's all I'm doing. Rinsing it off real good. And I want rinsing every part, not just one part of the leg, but every part of the leg, everything. And I'm just putting it in the sink. That's an exciting, not that difficult. Oh, y'all. Today is a sad day. It really is. I saw that um, Kobe Bryant and his 13 year old daughter. Um, die in a helicopter crash and I tell you this gotta be oh I just can't even imagine what his wife and his family are going through that's some that's one of the saddest things you know you just hear that anybody when they pass you know but when you, you and your baby die at the same time lord have mercy I just can't even imagine such a sad day and my heart goes out to him his, his family and her family and just everybody everybody that had you know ever crossed paths with him because you know that's ooh, lord that's tragedy all right guys i only have two more and my water is already boiling as you saw earlier so all i gotta do is just put these in here Okay, so I'm a nerd, and I don't know why this is hilarious to me to see, watch how this shaking, watch it, how it's moving in the bubbles. Isn't that weird? Science, I swear. 
Anywho, let me turn this down a bit. It don't need to be boiling so rapidly. All right. So here we go. I'm putting this big old leg in here that of course does not really fit in there. But I'm putting it in there anyway. And I'm gonna turn this one this way. As you see, it don't fit. It'll come out soon so y'all can see. Ooh, Lord, child, I'm gonna throw y'all smooth off the thing. And I did that, but these have been sitting. The last time I made these, I um put them in there the long, long way, but I don't have to do that this time because these are thralled. When I cooked them the first time, they were frozen. <coughs> so I'm bending, putting them in there. y'all see I got this stuff in here let me make an adjustment all right so y'all see I got these in here now what I'm fixing to do is because I don't have a big pot for all of this to fit in so I'm gonna take this smaller pot and I am going to get these crabs around push them around get them in here sit that just like that and that's the, I'm steaming I'm not boiling I'm steaming these so I'm gonna let that go for about I guess about eight to ten minutes and then I'm gonna turn them over around the opposite direction and then cook them for an additional eight to ten minutes because this is big these are big legs and they have to you know you want to make sure this is heated all the way through <coughs> as I stated earlier they are already cooked. You're just heating them up. And I like my meat to be plump because if you don't heat them up, it's not going to be real, you know, as plump as you want it. So I'm going to do this and I'll show y'all when I get ready to flip. I told you it's going to be short. Okay, so the crabs are still going. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to make some of this um, Be Love Smack Delicious sauce. Um... I've used a great deal of it already. See, that's how much I got left right down here. That's the, almost the, to the end. But anyway, I've been using mine like a tablespoon, you know, a couple tablespoons when I make the sauce. I don't use a whole lot of it because I ain't going to make the whole batch. I'm just, that's, that's not what I'm going to do. But this is the sauce, the package here. So y'all can see. Um and the preparation for it. So I'm gonna go ahead and just start making it. Get set up so y'all can see all the odds and ends, the ins and outs and all that to make it. I'm gonna get y'all off my bosom child, but that ain't cute. That's a lot running there right there. So I got me some butter. And I'm using salted butter. Um, that's just what I like to use. Use whatever you want to. I 
This is my first time using Costco's brand of butter, which is Kirkland's. I normally buy, you know, like Publix or, you know, whatever butter in the grocery store. So it's probably ain't no different. Ooh, child, wait a minute. <laughs> I need them to go nice. <sighs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> so, yeah, so slice some of this up. Put that in there. I don't know how much I need. I'm used to sticks, you know? So, we finna see. But while the first batch, well, that's melting. I think I need some more. Because those crabs, I use quite a bit. I use all my butter. And I use, I ain't gonna tell y'all how much I use, but I use a, a good deal. So, I didn't use, well, almost, that's half of that. Almost. Let me see one more. Because I just know I got a lot of crab meat. All right. So for the sauce, I have some pickled ginger. Pink, the pink pickled ginger. I'm gonna turn this down because it's gonna melt, but I don't need it to be boiling and popping all over the doggone place. It ain't that serious. Ooh. All right. You know, I can't get it together today. Drop this up everywhere. Lord. All right. I usually don't put a lot of uh, ginger in there, but I'm gonna do it today. I just got my regular kitchen shears right here. I'm going to chop that up right in there with the scissors. I'm not getting out no cutting board. I'm not in the mood for that. <laughs> I am doing the homework and listening to lectures and all that stuff, child. I'm trying to get my life in order today. So I can start Monday fresh. You don't have to, you know, you put as much or as little as you want in there, but this ginger is good. I like ginger anyway. Um, I usually don't do pickled ginger, but I like ginger tea and ginger candy and, you know, all of that. Okay, while that's doing that, get that a minute, let that stir up in there. You won't let that ginger cook a while. Not no long time or nothing, but it needs some time. So in that, in the meantime, let's come over here so y'all can see the happenings. I got... <coughs> Clean my tongues, child. Y'all know I be in this kitchen cooking. Anywho, all right, so it's time to flip these jokers. Lord, help me, help me. Please come. So I'm gonna use this while I do this. Don't you think this ain't hot now? Although I'm steaming and not boiling, it's still hot. That it is. Oh! See? You see what I'm talking about? You see that? 
See how your life can change in an instant? Look up here. Look up here. Turn that upside down. Baby, I'm just so awkward when it comes to stuff like this. I cannot, you know? Like, I'm, I'm, I be struggling. I don't like getting hurt, you know? And in these situations, getting hurt come with the territory. And I be trying to be one of them people that ain't gonna get hurt. You understand? Okay. Flipping them, flipping them, flipping them. Come on, get it there. coming on along there all right so i got my ginger in there and the butter is starting to take on a pinkish color because of the ginger that's all it is so anyway i'm just gonna put a hit of vinegar in there it's a cap full that's all i need that's all I'm putting in mine. You know, some folks do other stuff, but I don't do all that. All right. So I have here some um, powdered chicken broth or bouillon. There will probably be a teaspoon of that. Put that in there. no long drawn now stuff and I'm gonna use the rest of my garlic because that's all I got just scrape all that in here have to get some more break the stuff up because you know you want that to get well mixed this round to be Eating your sauce and bite into a clump or something, your mouth will be puckered. Nobody trying to have no puckered mouth. At least I'm not. That's enough of that. I ain't feeling with that. It ain't that serious, you know? Now. Put this sauce in there. Let me get this spoon out of here, child. But my hand get burnt up. Let me get burnt up. All right, so now I got a tablespoon now. A tablespoon. Sprinkle it in. I'm gonna do two tablespoons. I'm not putting the Coke in there. That's supposed to go in here too, but I'm not putting that in here because um I don't have any. And I I'm not going to the store to get any. So I'm gonna just stir that in. Let y'all see how it's looking. I knew I was leaving out something. Well, I ain't got but a 
When I say a hit of onions or chopped onions, that's all I got. So I'm gonna put what I got in it. <coughs> that's it. Ain't nothing else. I don't like the fresh onions, not for this. I don't usually cook with those too much anyway because I don't like onions. Um, so I'm just gonna use, I use the little chopped ones, dehydrated ones or whatnot. And you gotta be careful with this stuff because it'll start sticking. So I'm gonna go and turn that down. Pull it off. It's doing what it needs to do. But butter is hot, let me tell you. So it's coming to the right consistency. I just don't want it to stay on this heat too long because like I said, it starts sticking and making, the stuff start balling up in the bottom. I don't like that. I don't care for that at all. So. I'm gonna just do mine like this. And then when I finish, when it's done doing what it need to do on the stove, cause you want your, your ginger to, you know, you want that to kind of break down, caramelize just about. So I'm gonna let that keep on simmering for a little bit longer. Cause I feel like my uh, ginger has caramelized. And then I'm gonna um, take that off, turn it off. Then I'm gonna add my, a little bit of the two times spicy sauce in there. I'm gonna add a little bit of that in there. Probably about a teaspoon. And that's all, you know, I don't want it too spicy because I want to be able to eat it and enjoy it. Because that sauce there, honey, it'll make you sick, child. And I like spicy food, but sometimes you just can't fool with that. So, all right, y'all. So, I'm going to let that do its thing. And I'll be back when the crabs are done. And um, I'll show y'all how it all looks finished. All right. So... Everything is finished. So this is what the crab looks like. And you see how the crab, ooh, child, I'm gonna burn my finger. You see how the crab kind of like turn whitish looking, kind of ashy? That's when you know your, it's done. So your shell will tell you what it, you know, what, what it is or whatnot. And so it looks like that. And then the sauce is done now. It's still kind of simmering, but it's off. The stove is off, as you see, ain't nothing on. So that's it, y'all. That's that's how I do it. How it's done. It ain't no whole lot of work. And, and you know, and when you don't have something, don't go out here, just, you know, trying to drop a, a dime or whatever on <clears throat> something you don't have at the house. Because you can make it work. I made mine work. I ain't buying no big old 20 quart pot because that's all I'm going to use it for is this. And I also live in a condo. I don't have that much storage space. So I had to think about that. And I don't like stuff sitting all, all over everywhere. I'm not one of those. Like, order in my home so i'm not gonna be you know buying all this stuff i can't ain't got nowhere to put it so anyway so that's how i did it you know um you can do it too and the next time y'all see me y'all gonna see me chowing down Ew. all right y'all i'll see y'all on the next episode bye oh yeah what am i saying don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and remember, I love you, you are loved, and whatever you're doing, be good or be good at it, and I'll see you guys next time.